looking for in this? What defines quality? Um, so we do have a few forms out there that, that sort of touch on those, but working with a reliable QC inspector is hands down one of the easiest ways to make sure that they're abiding by that pro forma uh, and that they're abiding by all the requests you know, for quote that you initially sent and that they're abiding by that golden sample. Um, so QC inspection, I would say that's something else that you have to drill down in there. And you know, let's say you're ordering a thousand units, what standard are you using for that QC inspection? Right. What is a critical, what is a major, what is a minor defect? Uh, and they have to agree to that. They have to say, hey, yes, you're right. Your logo should not be scratched up. That should be a critical defect because that's your branding. But then if you say, hey, you know, this positioning is slightly off and I can live with that, that's perfectly fine. That's a minor defect. And if they agree to that, perfect way to build a relationship with them too. Right. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, everybody, <clears throat> that's too many cigars. But um, <laughs> I have to apologize. If you heard incredible cow-like slurping in the background, I thought I was on mute and I opened up a pop can and I was just slugging it back while you were talking. So I apologize. <laughs> yeah. No one heard you. You're, you're perfect. <laughs> good, good. Now, <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. All right. So about Chinese culture, uh, I, I don't know if there's anything else, but if we want to move on to something, and I'm sure there's lots more, but something that's going to be a game changer this year is having Prime Day, Black Friday all together at one time. Any thoughts what we can do to help prevent uh, any backups? Man, uh, and with these new release dates, I, I yes. think it was, what, beginning of October they're expecting to... Uh, yeah, I think it was beginning of October or end of end of October. I'm sorry, end of October, moving uh, their, their Black Friday and starting it then. Uh, that's one of the rumors that are out there. Now, if you look at historically when you have to get your products in, that it's usually, you know, if it goes at the end of no uh, November, you have to get in by November 5th. So abiding by that beginning of October means your products have to be on the water <laughs> next week at the very latest. Right. And, and so that also means that factories are going to be slammed yep. with all the sellers that are trying to get in their orders. And it's not only them, right? It's, it's standard brick and mortar stores. Uh, it's other manufacturers that are ordering parts and pieces from them. So taking all of this into account and, and the holiday season, just moving to e-commerce and, and 3PL warehouses getting slammed and, and not knowing where you're going to store it. It's so chaotic, uh, especially for a, a, a new seller. Uh, but particularly for manufacturers. And it's because they haven't had to really deal with uh, e-commerce on this level, dealing with COVID, being out for almost two months of manufacturing, dealing with uh, you know restrictions on, on logistics because the logistic the shipping carriers are limiting how many vessels are actually leaving the water. Um, the cost. The cost. Oh my God. So that's one more thing. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, we were looking at a quote from, I believe it was Shanghai to Long Beach, and it was somewhere close to about $4,000 for a 40-foot mm -hmm. container. That time last year, we just went back to look at some historical data, about seventeen dollars to $1,800. That is more than twice the cost for one container. And not only that, the lead times were significantly longer because the ports are being backed up. And Amazon is taking about three weeks to, to bring in all the units and you know limiting those quantities. We're not going to get into that, but the cost of that and then express air shipping just being so ridiculously high because of COVID and because of those passenger flights being grounded. I mean, it is it's just so many knock on effects and, and Amazon, they're going to do what they want to do, but they're not helping uh, at this